Hey, what is up guys? I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm super excited to share with you guys what I personally believe is an accidental leak by Apple of a feature that may be coming to the iPhone with iOS 17. And now one of the most requested features for iPhone users has been the ability to do split screen multitasking. Now for those of you that don't know, split screen multitasking is the ability to use more than one application at the same time or maybe even just slide over like we have on the iPad where you can have multiple windows inside of the same application, which is something that some iPhone users have been wanting. Apple has yet to deliver this, but writer over on Twitter, one of my followers, has accidentally come across what I believe is a leak that shows us how this could be implemented into iOS 17, or it could be a bug. I would like to hear your thoughts right after I show you how to enable slide over on your iPhone. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, we do have sort of a split screen multitasking on the iPhone to a certain extent. So for example, anywhere you go to integrate text, you can actually double tap on the actual text right here and scan for text. It enables the camera and you can go ahead and scan text to input it into the notes application. So I guess you can consider that split screen multitasking. Same thing applies within the actual messages. You can tap here, scan for text and integrate that text by using the camera by scanning the text. So two windows open, split screen multitasking. However, slide over is a little bit different because you can have multiple windows within the actual application. I'm gonna show you how Writer came across this bug. He explained it to me. So basically you need to go into the videos on your iPhone and as the video is playing, you have the scrubber here on the bottom. As you can see right here, I can scrub through this video. So what you need to do is hold the video, tap on the eye and then this right here, slide over, just happens. Isn't this crazy? Take a look at that. So we have a window, and not only do we have the window, but you can also resize it. It feels so native in this particular scenario here in this application. Again, let me show you how I did that. So I'm playing the video right there, hold the video timeline, click on the eye, and then the second window pops up, which is the video running in the background, and then the information in regards to the video floating over top of the actual video that's playing. As you can see right there, again, this feels almost native on this iPhone. It doesn't feel like a bug at all. And again, I can resize that window and move it around. I can't push it over to the side. I've tried going into landscape mode here and trying that as well. So if I go into landscape mode, I can actually bring it over to the side just like so. It is kind of interesting to see this. It doesn't work exactly the same on landscape, but yeah, it's definitely a slide over mode, some sort of slide over mode on the iPhone in the latest iOS 16.3, 16.4, and even 16.5. Now, I wanted you guys to go ahead and try this out for yourself on your iPhone and tell me if it feels like a bug or an accidental leak coming with iOS 17, slide over coming over to the iPhone. I would like to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.